What's up guys, it's your boy TBC. I'm back at a mic. And I'm gonna give my two cents on the new trail, I mean the gameplay really related with the game Sonic Forces. And you guys been knowing you boys been hyper about this game. I've been so charged up about this game and I'm finally excited to be seeing some gameplay. Before I go ahead and begin, let me go ahead and say this. Can we talk about how pretty this game looks? Like seriously, this game looks like it's how wonderful and how good it is and it's in 60 frames per second. Let's go. Now, basically Sega did let it be known that this is still a work in progress. The, the, this isn't gonna, this isn't the full product. Of course it isn't, no duh. But this is just kind of placeholder to let you get a feel and let you know how the game is kind of going to be a little bit. So we shouldn't be too harsh on it, which I'm not going to be. But there are a few things that I just want to address that I can just easily tell that, oh, that's obviously filler or, oh, that's obviously just a placeholder. There are a few things that I just want to elaborate on and give my two cents regarding it. Because like I said, you guys asked me, when are you going to talk about the gameplay? So since we finally got good footage because i was not going to be using no no camera related footage i try to use the best footage i possibly can and since we got that now in 1080p let's go ahead and go so here's my two cents just to label and note a few things as you can see in the trailer if you really paid attention sonic did the stomp stomp was introduced i recall in sonic unleashed or it was mostly i believe you know really implemented there he could have potentially did that in other games but i do remember the stomp being something i probably remember in unleashed so he still has that and by the way most moves that he basically did in Sonic generations he basically has there are a few things though that i did notice but let's go ahead and begin so obviously the wisps are going to be there to boost sonic no you know right at this moment in time we only saw the wisp giving sonic the ability to boost now I was assuming that, and this could also change, because it could also be a change in progress, but I was assuming, you know, that Sonic didn't need Wisp to boost. Maybe Sega is trying to explain boosting a little bit, I guess to a certain extent, even though I don't really think it should be elaborating on. I think that's the ability that Sonic has always been able to do, or something he basically learned within Unleashed, or better yet, within uh, Sonic, the Sonic Rush, which that was like around the time he boosted, but if you really get technical with it, Sonic boosted in Sonic Drift, but whatever. But anyway, the wisps are integrated in there, so I'm curious to see are there gonna be any other wisps? Are we gonna be boosted wisp? It's very curious to, to note. Uh, something else I want to basically talk about is the destruction of the first level. Now, what I mean by that is typically, and especially in Sonic games or on platformers in general, you usually get a lighthearted sort of stage in the beginning, not something needy and greedy like that. I'm actually excited for Sega to basically be doing that. Now, I'm not going to say that the first level we saw is a tutorial level. For all we know, that may not be. That may be like closer to the end of it, and then it recaps and shows you everything. They could potentially go in a different direction regarding the opening for this game. I know that's a bit of a reach here, but it also just may be a tutorial. I mean, I've played games that come, like, what I like about, just, just go ahead and elaborate on this, what I really like about um, certain games are, if you play enough games in the series, the games start becoming getting darker and darker, like, they go over a light tone, then as the games keep continuing, they get a darker tone, somewhat, and I, it's kind of good to see Sonic kind of keep that, you know, transition going. If you remember Mario Galaxy, how, I'm just going to use that example, how lighthearted it was in the beginning, but when Bowser started attacking, it sort of got a little hectic. I kind of like that, and I'm finally glad that Sonic is 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 deciding to finally keep that transition going. Like I said, this may not even be the tutorial stage, or it may be the tutorial stage. I'm not entirely sure, but let's go ahead and something to note. Something else I want to basically talk about and go into is when Sonic basically, and this has always been something with me that I've always been wanting to know. Typically when Sonic boosts and he jumps, it's just kind of like a regular jump. In this specific gameplay we saw, when Sonic boosted and he jumped, he actually did this backflip. Now I've always were really interested in acrobatics. I can do a front flip and a backflip, <laughs> that's a side note there. But basically seeing Sonic be more acrobatic is just awesome. I don't know why I like that so much, but when I first noticed that, it blew my mind. And something else I want to talk about too is his running animation, which is basically his old traditional Sonic uh, Unleashed and Sonic. Well, he always ran behind his back, you know, with this running boosting animation. I really hope they kind of work on that. Like, it, it's the same transition, but I hope they. There's something about it that I'm just not the hugest fan of. I'm really hoping that they go and, and change that. May raise his arm just a little bit as he's running back. I'm not entirely sure on that. But I want to hear Missile know that. And the boosting effect, like I said again, this is a work in progress. But the boosting effect, it didn't really have that oomph flare in there. That was obviously just a placeholder or, I'm going to call it. But I'm hoping that they basically just, well, 
you know, you put some more flair into that. Make it like a blur. <laughs> if that makes any sense. There are other few things such as the uh, the little hooks Sonic, Sonic hangs onto, but those are mostly like Sonic Unleashed essentials. So I don't really think they're really too new or relevant to basically talk about. There's in the uh, trick rings, and someone missed the special ring. I don't know how you're supposed to jump. I guess supposed to jump off that rail and guess that. But besides that, that was my first initial impressions of what I basically saw in that game. Just a few pins and a little bit iffy things. You guys let me know in the comments section below. What do you personally think about it? Did you enjoy the gameplay? Did you like it? Like I said, I'm gonna keep my video crisp at 1080p, 60 frames per second, just like the trailer was, so you can basically see that. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Soon, stay tuned for more Sonic uh, Forces gameplay or any news or information we get regarding this game. Your boy will be right here delivered to you. There, guys. Y'all have an amazing weekend. So much favorite time viewing this video. Keep your seatbelt on when you drive, man. And don't talk to strangers out there. You know that everyone ain't pro trying to do everything right. <laughs> y'all have an amazing day, man. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear what you think. Have an amazing day, y'all. God bless, peace. Thanks for watching. Later, Banana Nation.